We're just going to do a quick walkthrough of the Accuson P500 and the basic controls. You have your power button on the top left hand side there, you use to switch it on. On some systems, if the password hasn't been taken off, this screen may come up. If you haven't set a password, just type admin into user and using the tracker pad, go down and left click on OK and that will bring you up to your scanning screen. To start a scan, always start top left hand corner, hit the patient button. This brings up your patient demographics. You can use the keypad to type in all the patient demographics you want. And then when you're ready, simply click OK. And then this will load and you'll have your patient details at the top of the screen. Next, I would always click exam under the patient key. And then this will bring up your presets on the probe that you've got plugged in. So just select whichever preset is most suitable for the scan you're doing. I can click PDABDO here and that will change the settings for what you're doing. So it's always worth just checking what exam you're in when you first start scanning. Now you're ready to scan. On, starting on the right hand side here, we have our 2D button. You can twist that to increase the overall gain. Or alternatively, you do have the two lines next to it, which button is an auto TQ. That will auto optimize the image for you. So if you press that in, that will auto optimize the gains. Then we have our different imaging modes. So the C, if I hit the C button, that will bring up our color box. I can then click either the left or right of the tracker pad and you will see size is highlighted in green so I can adjust the size. I can click again to adjust the position. Once I'm happy and I want to get my colour off, just hit the 2D. So 2D is always your reset button to go back to your normal scanning. Pulse wave and M mode work the same. So I can hit the PW, adjust where I want my PW cursor and then hit PW again to start your Doppler. And then you have your scale and baseline keys on the left hand side to adjust the scale and the baseline. And again, once you're happy, 2D will reset it back to normal. If I just pop this in the echo mode. You'll be able to see if I hit the PW and you want a continuous wave, you can hit the CW on the touch screen to use continuous wave. When you're scanning and you want to save an image, you can freeze print store one will save a still image or when you're scanning just hit clip store and that will save a cine loop of a few seconds that will save a video clip if you have ecgs plugged in you can set that up to save by heartbeats instead so it'll save heart cycles these are the basic controls you do have your frequency up here so if you're not getting them enough penetration you can drop your frequency or if you don't like the resolution on your images increase the frequency and then you also have tissue harmonics here, so you can flick the tissue harmonics on and off. It's worth noting the P500, you do have a control panel, but it's also touch screen. So anything you can do on the control panel, you can always just touch the screen. So if I want to put the harmonics off, I can just click the THI. If I want to change the frequency, I can use the touch screen to change the frequency. You also, you have your depth button here, increase and decrease your depth. And that's the basic controls. Once you're happy and you've saved all your images, if you click the review button, I can review the images I've taken. But if I want to just close the study, you have close study here. And I can click close study and that will save your patient images. And then I can click browser. And this will bring up all your previous scans, which you can select to open to review the scans or alternatively you can hit export to export the scans. That's a basic overview of the P500. It's just the basic controls. If you want us to cover anything else, just write in the comments and we can do further vi videos covering more functions for you. Thank you.